Thanks, Jenny. As you just saw, there are lots of different job titles, but the actual services provided by arborists fall into two basic categories, vegetation management for rights of way or utilities, and residential or commercial tree care. Vegetation management involves pruning trees so they don't interfere with power lines, phone wires, high tension lines, highways, or railroads. This type of work involves physically removing trees and brush and applying herbicides. Although trees improve the environment, they can also create safety hazards and interfere with the operation of public utilities and transportation systems if they're allowed to grow out of control or if bad weather brings them down. This type of arboricultural work is a vital service to our communities. In the area of professional tree and shrub care, services include complete landscape management and may involve fertilization, cabling and bracing trees, installing lightning protection, pruning, and management of pests and disease. Most of these functions are designed to keep trees alive, healthy, and beautiful. These services are provided at private homes, college campuses, corporate parks, government installations, golf courses, in parks, and at resorts. The basics of tree care include pruning, root care, cabling and bracing, pest management, and soil analysis. Proper pruning not only makes a tree look better, it also improves insect and disease resistance. Roots are an important part of a plant's development. An unhealthy or damaged root system can create problems that affect the tree's structure and proper growth. Trees are cabled and braced to provide extra structural support, making them less susceptible to damage by high winds. Pests and diseases are kept under control through the careful use of EPA-registered materials that are applied to plants. Soil samples reveal whether nutrition is adequate to keep the tree healthy and to provide a prescription for proper soil management. This is just a sample of what awaits you in the exciting field of arboriculture. Here's Mark Chisholm to tell you more. In the world of climbing, there's only one thing that really matters, safety. The other factors, such as speed and skill, will develop with time. So if you decide to become a climber, allow yourself the time it takes to become good at what you do by always playing it safe. Stand clear. How many other careers let you earn a good living while making a real difference? You can save a tree and help to protect the planet. Now that's arboriculture. With support from John Bound High School, Flushing, New York, Long Island Arboricultural Association, Bill Miller and Associates, Sag Harbor, New York, Dwayne Splint Landscaping, Saddle River, New Jersey, New York Arborist, PSE and G, Committee of Advancement of Arboriculture, Mini Simeone and Planting Hills, Arboretum, Oyster Bay, New York, Catwalder Park, Trenton, New Jersey, National Urban Community Forestry Advisory Council, NUC FAC. Cook College, NJAES Resource Center, TCIA, the Tree Care Industry Association, www.treecareindustry.com, ISA International Society of Arboriculture, www.isa-arbor.com. In accordance with federal law and U.S. Department of Agriculture policy, this institution is prohibited from discriminating on the basis of race, color, national origin, sex, age, or disability. To file a complaint of discrimination, write USDA Director, Office of Civil Rights, Room 326, W. Winton Building, 1400 Independence Avenue Southwest, Washington, D.C., 20250-9410, or call 201-2000.
202-720-5964. Voice and TDD. USDA is an equal opportunity employer. Video production by Custom Video Productions, Inc. www.cvpnj.com. 732-936-1001.